First off, start by telling me about your character in the film. Yeah. My character in the film is the lovely uh, Rayon. I read this script and immediately I, I was just blown away. I fell in love with the character and I thought there was a real opportunity here uh, to portray a real person, not a cliche yeah. or a stereotype. Uh, and that was exciting because I hadn't, I, I just thought there was a unique opportunity. So, you know, it's, it's Texas, it's 1985. Uh, you've got this cowboy and this young uh, man who has chosen to live as a woman, mm -hmm. a really brave choice. I couldn't imagine how terrifying it must have been to walk through a grocery store at that time. Uh, I met with somebody earlier that said he got teased and almost beat up for wearing an OP shirt in 1985. <laughs> I couldn't imagine, uh, you know, a, a wig and high heels. So I had a lot of respect. I have a lot of respect for people that make that choice. And Araya just kept surprising me. Sense of humor, the street smarts, the passion, uh, the empathy. She's a survivor, and uh, it was really special to be involved with it, this project. Now, everybody who has sort of seen the film and just even people around here talking, the physical transformation, it's, it's unbelievable. I mean, even Matthew and Jennifer have been saying that they can't wait to sort of meet you because you were so in character in filming. Talk to me about, you know, getting yourself physically into the role. It was an important part of it was an important part of the process because she was so far from where I live my daily life, mm -hmm. mannerisms, uh, behavior, inside and out. Uh, I really just did what I thought I needed to do in order to deliver for Matthew, for Jennifer, for Jean Marc, for the film, for the writers. It was a special project, and I wanted to do the very best that I could, so I made a commitment, and I stayed committed. Now, aside from the physical transformation, what were some of the challenges about playing this character, playing Rayon? Challenges, well, you have the big ones, the weight, the voice, uh, but I think, the ones that weren't so obvious, uh, the ones that weren't so obvious are the emotional, mm -hmm. the psychological, the inside. Those were huge challenges as well. Uh, it was uh, uh, definitely a journey of a lifetime. And my last question, I mean, I am not an actress by any means. How do you sort of get yourself you know, into this mind frame where for the entire filming you stay in character. How, do, how does that, how does it work? I think about it like climbing a mountain. You prepare an expedition, uh, you plot, you plan, you look at maps, you gather supplies, and you go. And once you go, you've committed. Uh, and you're gonna reach the summit no matter what. And when you reach the summit, you gotta turn around and get back down safely as well. But we were, all of us, we all had our commitments. You know, whether we were staying in character or not, everybody had their commitments. Uh, I simply did what I needed to do to get to where I needed to go and to contribute to this phenomenal project. Uh, you know, I'm so, so glad that I had the oppor opportunity to do it.